Hi, welcome to this video where I'll talk about the increased risk of landslide and flooding as one of many possible consequences of global warming. We have all seen the recent flooding in India caused by a glacial burst. The question is, will these types of event become more common worldwide in the future? I will in this video demonstrate that this is highly likely and that we will see more of this kind of disaster in the future worldwide. I will in this video demonstrate how increased rainfall can lead to increased landslide risk and possible flooding like the recent flooding in Uttarakhand. But first, we need to understand that a needle can float in water. This is possible due to the surface tension in water. It is the same that makes it possible to build a sand castle. A sand castle is held together by the surface tension in water, or you could call it the vacuum in the air bubbles in between the sand grain and the water. Had the sand become fully saturated with water without air bubbles, then no surface tension or vacuum would be created and it would not be possible to build a sand castle. This is seen in the picture where fully saturated sand will float and the moist sand can stand and you can build a sand castle. If you google the internet, you will find that there's an increase in rainfall in the Himalaya region. I will now show how this increase in rainfall can increase the risk for landslides and more flooding like the recent flooding in India. In this landscape we have a hill above a lake and in front of the lake we have a hydropower plant. The soil in the hill is moist but not saturated. Increased rainfall may make the soil more wet and eventually turn the soil from moist to saturated. When the soil becomes saturated, the soil loses the surface tension in the water and a landslide happens. The soil flows down the hill and into the lake. A large wave built up in front of the hydropower plant. As the soil floats into the lake, the wave built up. Eventually, the wave washes over the hydropower plant and pulls apart the dam. The lake will now, over a very short time, empty into the river in front of the dam and send a flooding down the river. People further down the river will get very little warning before the flooding hits them. This is one consequence of global warming. Another consequence is as the temperature rises we will have melting of the glaciers. The melting of the glaciers may lead to crack in the glaciers leading to glacier bursts. In this sketch you can see a glacier in the mountain valley and a lake in front. As temperature rises, a crack may form in the glacier and the glacier breaks off into the lake in front. This will build up a wave, sending the wave down the river. Depending on the size of the glacier break off, the wave created can become extremely large and send a large flooding down the mountain valley. So now we have seen examples of how surface tension in water is important to hold slopes together. If increased rainfall will continue, we may see an increase in landslides and flooding worldwide. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.